Okay, here we are, bass boat driving, boat wakes edition. We are out here on beautiful Smith Mountain Lake. This is a typical recreation lake in the summertime. And as you can I mean, the boat passing us behind us. This is, uh, if you're familiar with the lake, this is Hales Ford Bridge area. It is in the middle of the week, but it's still, um, still a fair amount of traffic going on. Now, I know earlier in the summer there was a crazy amount of traffic, but we're gonna try to give you some tips and teach you how to drive better in boat wakes, predominantly with a bass boat, but a lot of these applications can go to, you know, bow riders and other boats as well. So we're just gonna kinda go over some of that different stuff and a little bit more help you drive better in boat wakes. So here we go, let's take off. So we, uh, we just took us a little stroll, uh, ran through a few boat wakes, nothing major. And just to kind of give you a, you know, a synopsis of, of what the real situation is and what the problem is with, with boat wakes. Uh, smaller boat wakes in general are not a problem for a, you know, 18 to 21 foot bass boat. Generally, smaller boat wakes, you know, boats that are on plane, smaller boats on plane going fast, generally not much of a problem. On you know, up to like three quarters of full speed. If you're gonna go run half speed, you know, uh, you know, this is a Bass Cat era, very fast boat. It'll run in the in mid 70s under most conditions, um, you know, with most loads, you can run faster than that. But if you're running more than about 60 miles an hour in a bass boat, boat wakes can become a major problem uh, and something you need to be very aware of. So. Uh, just to kind of lay out the baseline, if you are driving 30 to 40 miles an hour in a bass boat, and even slower, you can drive 25 miles an hour and stay on plane. If you're driving that slow and you keep your the nose of your boat relatively trimmed down, you're not over trimmed, you can cut through most any boat wake and not have any problem and be safe. So let's let's just get that out of the way first. And that's what I would recommend, unless you are in a mega hurry or unless you're trying to do something uh, to where you need to run faster, uh, d don't, don't run, run a little bit slower. Keep, keep the, the trim. Uh, you don't want to keep it di digging all the way in. Uh, you want to trim it up just a little bit from trimmed all the way down. If you watch my uh, bass boat driving tips and talking about getting on plane and trim, uh, those other videos explain all of that. So when you're getting on plane, you're going to be trimmed all the way down. But once you get up off a plane and you're going to be encountering a lot of these boat wakes, which we're, we're kind of right in the middle of right here, uh, you, want to, you want to trim that up just a little bit to take that pressure off of the nose diving into the waves. Take that pressure off a little bit and then the, the, the front of the hull, the V in there, can do its job and split those wakes uh, kind of no matter what angle they're coming from. Uh, that's a that's a big deal. So uh, that's a big part of it. Now let's go after this wakeboard boat, and we're gonna we're gonna show you how to properly pass a boat with their boat wakes. We'll do that. Go run that boat down. Okay, so as you could see, uh, it was not totally ideal, uh, so, but there was not a lot of room to where I could, I really felt comfortable because we had this boat right here that was getting ready to pass us. Uh, I was a little uncomfortable with cutting perpendicular. I, I felt like I was gonna be cutting right in front of that boat. So I had to, I had to kind of just navigate that way and what I call, sl you know, sliding over that wake. When you do that, make sure that you slow down do not want to do that at full speed, full throttle. Uh, you want to slow down so that you can ride that wave over. And then sometimes the bigger boat wakes, they'll have two or three waves you have to ride over in order to get, ac get across and, uh, and then continue to, to navigate. So uh, those are a couple big 
tips on getting over boats uh, as you're coming up from behind them. Uh, that's a big, big deal right there. And then the other, the other part is, you know, occasionally you'll run into these massive, massive boats that are putting out three and four foot waves. Those ones, uh, you can do either way, just like just like a wakeboard boat, uh, like we just showed you. But with those ones, it is imperative that you slow down. Big, big deal is to slow down when you're going over those really big waves. Um, you can you can mess up in a hurry. You can uh, launch, and a lot of that comes from just paying attention, knowing what's around you. Know there's a jet ski there, there's a wakeboard boat there. If you see one of those 30, 40, 50 foot cruisers be looking for the wakes because i promise you they're there and the crazy thing is they last for a long time they last for a long time so you just got to be got to be careful and be aware of, the, of that as well um, so those are those are a couple big big tips if you have any back issues you may want to get yourself a cushion i'm not joking you i mean bass cat's got one of the greatest rides in, in all of bass boats but it doesn't matter whether if you have a ranger or what or what um, if you get you a cushion, I don't mean like a throw cushion, I mean like a uh, one of those gel memory foam cushions. Uh, you can get them for your car, you can get them for your office chair. Get one of those, stick it under your seat. It will help cushion uh, the boat wakes, make that a little bit more pleasurable experience if that's a problem for you. But I love the Bass Cat seats. I think they're perfect. They, they contour right to, to my butt. Um, so when I hit waves, uh, A, the, the era is not a hard hitting bass boat. And, and I love these seats, so I don't want to mess anything up there. But that's just another little tip I figured I'd throw out there. But let's go find some more boat wakes. I, did, I really didn't emphasize it enough earlier, but when we were just going over those other boat wakes, uh, it kind of reminded me, and I don't know if you could see it in uh, in the video, but when you're going over boat wakes, again, don't have the front of your boat trimmed all the way down. Uh, the bass boat, bass boats have uh, the the strakes on the bottom, or the however you want to call them. I don't build bass boats, so don't slaughter fest me for not having the proper terms, okay? But I can tell you. Those lines on the bottom of the boat are there for grip, uh, and, and they grip, they help the hull grip the water for when you're going around turns, navigating, uh, the boat can run properly. That, that grip, if your boat is trimmed all the way down and the entire running surface of your hull is in the water and being forced down into the water, what happens is when you, when you run across boat wakes sideways, uh, you know, going left and right, they will they will pull the front of your boat left and right and it can it can be an uncontrollable situation in a bass boat i've seen it i've done it i'm telling you be sure if you're going to go at any rate of speed through boat wakes do not have your boat trimmed all the way down you want to make sure that you pull that boat up as i was mentioning earlier uh, so that the hull can do its work but really it helps you control the direction that your boat is going because uh, your boat you know we're, we're going we're bouncing side to side going over these wakes if your boat has too much downforce on the front of the hull it's going to be getting pulled left and right left and right it's going to be uncomfortable you're going to the boat will go out of control uh, pull the, trim that boat up just a little bit i'm telling you just a little bit um, you know kind of like mid-range for your trim every boat's a little different so the gauges if i tell you to look on your gauge every gauge is different hard to, to speculate there but you're going to trim up probably halfway between where it starts to tilt and you know all the way down somewhere in halfway not maybe not quite there uh, but that will pull the pressure off of the front of that boat you can navigate sideways through boat wakes much much easier so again that's why i wanted to emphasize that do not run in boat wakes with your your boat trimmed all the way down that's a big big tip the other the other tip as i mentioned earlier is to just slow down a little bit uh, that goes a long ways in keeping control of your boat. And then, uh, as I showed you earlier, about going perpendicular through the waves, uh, the boat wakes, whenever you can do that, that is a, is a huge deal. And, um, and I hope that you're able to take something away from this video and, and apply it next time you're out there driving your bass boat. And if you have any other tips 
that you want to share with the community of people watching this video any other tips about driving through boat wakes be sure to hit it down there in the comments put it down there we want to hear from you we want to know what you know what what you've learned maybe you can add on to something uh, maybe you disagree with something I said. Let's let's talk about that. Let's put that down there in the comments. And if you want to see any other boat dri bass boat driving tips, we've got more coming down the road. But uh, if you want to see them, be sure to hit that up in the comments down below. And again, always thanks for watching. And please hit that subscribe button. Just 